Turn now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the Weather Center. And Tony, all eyes really uh, on uh, the area far south of us as those two storms are uh, are creating a bit of havoc down there. Well, yeah, especially for, uh, for the Gulf Coast and Florida. Franklin, fortunately, will stay out over the ocean. The impact here, as we talked about, will be some building waves and surf. Our weather uh, staying dry, uh, clouds and hazy sun right now, though we do have showers coming back in the forecast both Tuesday and Wednesday. A lot to cover. Let's first start with the uh, with the satellite and radar uh, composite and it's kind of a cloud hazy sun mix. You see some precipitation uh, offshore. We'll bring back the chance for showers on Tuesday and then even a higher chance coming up on Wednesday and then the rest of the week is actually dry. We'll take you down to the tropics. This is um, Idalia, which is almost a hurricane near the western t uh, tip of Cuba. Of course, this is Florida. Franklin, I mean, this is just a textbook example of what a major hurricane looks like with a well-defined eye, winds of 145 miles per hour. This will stay out in the open Atlantic, but it will send back some waves and some surf here by midweek. But we'll concentrate on Idalia. Of course, a lot of uh, people around here have uh, property in Florida or friends and relatives that live in Florida. Uh, so here's the deal. Hurricane warning for the areas in red, tropical storm warnings areas in yellow. Winds are at 70 miles per hour. Anticipated landfalls of major hurricane Cat 3. This would be by Wednesday morning. Here is Tampa. We have a hurricane warning as well. It'll cross back out over the Carolinas and then pass offshore well south of New England. So there's two opportunities to be kicking up the waves around here. The first and most obvious would be with Franklin as it passes well offshore. Some of this wave energy propagating towards our coastline. Uh, by late tomorrow, but more so Wednesday and Thursday. And then eventually Idalia moves back offshore as a tropical storm well south of New England by Friday and Saturday. That may kick up some waves as well. All right, closer to home, we are quiet with temperatures now that are in uh, the lower 70s, currently 72 with hazy sun and clouds. Uh, in Providence and Newport, not bad with good visibility and temperatures in the uh, lower 70s. So a few showers scattered coming up on Tuesday. Keep the umbrella on standby. I think a better chance on Wednesday. Some of this may be heavy at times, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. So unsettled next couple of days, both Tuesday and Wednesday, then uh, draw our attention to building waves and surf and rip current risks starting late tomorrow, but more so come Wednesday and into uh, Thursday. Forecast for this evening is quiet. It's dry with increasing clouds. Uh, by tomorrow morning, the, uh, the higher chance for showers scattered along the south shore, probably more clouds than sun, but I wouldn't rule out a little peak of sun during the afternoon, but mostly cloudy temps in the low 70s. A few scattered showers from time to time. There'll be dry periods on Tuesday as well, but I would keep the umbrella on standby. I think the better chance for a shower uh, on Tuesday morning would be along the south shore. And then during the afternoon, uh, the chance is just about everywhere, though running only about a 40% chance and not 340%. That should say 40%. I was typing too fast. Uh, you see temperatures that are in the uh, uh, lower 70s. Uh, beaches, you've got chance for showers, air temperature in the low 70s. The surf starts to build at area beaches by the end of the day, and especially on Wednesday. Bay forecast, east wind at 5 to 10. A right, seven-day forecast shows unsettled conditions starting tomorrow with scattered showers, but a better chance on Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and the early call on the holiday weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day Monday looking very nice. All right, Tony, thank you. Still ahead on